Connor special. I mean, everybody's been saying, wait till he faces a wrestler, wait till he faces a wrestler. You know, he throws that, that left hand with no effort, but boy, when it touches people, they go. It's, it's unbelievable. A lot of confusion in the cage afterwards with the lack of the two belts. Um, I, I know you guys <laughs> ran. We- no, whoa, whoa, just, just for the record. I'm not supposed to bring his belt. He's sure. supposed to bring his okay. belt. Right? He's yelling at me because I don't have his belt. I'm like, no, you're supposed to bring your belt, and I give you the new belt. Sure. So uh, we went back there, and Tyron Woodley uh, gave us his belt. So Has Connor given it back to Tyron Woodley? Huh? He got it back, yeah. Uh, so he, he let us borrow his belt. What did you say to Connor in the cage? You, you, after he got the belt, you went up to him and you said something to him. What did you say kind of at that point after uh, you gave him that second belt? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. What do you see? I mean, you guys had very differing opinions about the future of his career. You're it's saying he's got to – well, you said that he needed to give up a belt. He's saying you're going to have to get an RV <laughs> together to take one of those belts away. Yeah. Where do you stand right now? I mean, with the star as bright as him, could, could he find a way to maybe – do both these There's no, listen, th- I've never dealt with anybody like this kid on so many different levels. You know, normally he walks out of the octagon and he goes, I want, the, I want to fight this guy next. Nobody does that. Nobody has ever done that. Nobody's ever walked out of the octagon and told me they want, you know, they want to turn right around and fight again. He does. Um, and who knows? This, I, I, I'm going to let him enjoy this night. And, and enjoy it, and we'll talk business later. Does that mean maybe you're softening your stance a little bit? No. Okay. All these things. Dana, you know, Dana is steadfast saying, you know, he still wants you to give up the title. But it, do you think it's going to be hard for the UFC to do that now, considering the way you did put Eddie Alvarez the way, that you, the way you did, the way you put Aldo away the way you did? I mean, it does kind of seem like you have, you know, cemented yourself, d- depending, you know, d- that you deserve to defend both belts. Look, they didn't even want to give it to me in the octagon. What was that about? What was that about? I was literally losing my head in there. I was thinking, if these don't have this second belt for me, and I'm like, uh, I was saying it, I said, I want to raise up them both belts, climb up on that cage, raise them up, one on one shoulder, one on the other. And they didn't have the belts, and then I was in the cage, and I was like, did you not bring your own one? I was like, what? Get the brand new ones. What, what, this, is a billion, this is a multi-billion dollar company. You want to have them brand new ones sparkling when I, when, I, when I arrive here. So I'm happy that they went and got one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. 